A very good morning to you from wherever you're watching us from. Uh, this is Deliverance Church International Moja. And allow me to welcome you this morning to our morning devotions. And uh, this indeed is the day that the Lord God has made. And your job and my job is to rejoice and be glad in it. And this week uh, we've been dealing with the discipline of uh, imitating Christ. And we have seen, uh, we were picking the principles and the elements and the aspects of the character of Christ that we ought to imitate and uh, apply in our day-to-day -day living. Like for example, valuing people, uh, exercising humility and meekness in every aspect of life, and uh, they're also being like-minded with God, connecting with God in every way, in mind, in emotions, even in the strength that we are in so that we can be able to get to a point where the things that bother God are the things that bother us. And then, of course, we were dealing also, and we mentioned uh, the aspect of his character, and that is not taking advantage of his very nature as God to use it to his own benefit. We know very well that he had the opportunity to do that, but he never restricted or made us feel as though we were not welcome in the family of God. And that's why we have every reason to glorify the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, because he showed us the perfect example of walking and behaving and thinking and doing life. And that is the most important uh, aspect that we need to pick from the life of our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. The Bible says in uh, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 9 to 11 that therefore God exalted Jesus and gave him the name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And we see that's the benefit that came when Jesus humbled himself. He walked in humility. Indeed, the Bible says that humble yourself before the Lord so that he may lift you up in due time. A lot of reasons as to why many people are not being exalted in life, they are not progressing and being elevated in life, is because of lack of the virtue of humility in their lives. And yesterday we were talking about humility, and we saw that humility pays, humility heals, humility rewards. The aspect of humility, the Bible says that a clean heart and a contrite spirit, that God cannot reject. That God cannot reject. God cannot reject that. Clean heart, contrite spirit, a humble spirit, a spirit that understands that its authority comes from God. The Bible says that God cannot reject. And it is very important for us to understand, even in our day-to-day -day activities, that God, when he tells us to humble ourselves, when the word of God tells us that we should ought to walk in, humil in humility, simply means that our mindset should be like of Jesus Christ, who took the nature of a servant, even when he was in very nature God. He humbled himself and became obedient. Humility gives birth to obedience. You are able to obey without any, 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 any hindrance when you, are, you have committed yourself to a life of humility. And therefore, after Jesus humbled himself, how, after Jesus humbled himself, what happened? Elevation and exaltation came at play. He was given the name that is above every other name. Jesus, the name of Jesus, became the official identification recognized in heaven, here on earth and under the earth. Meaning at the mention of that name, heaven knows who Jesus is. They recognize the authority of that name. Here on earth, 
the name of Jesus becomes recognized. And even under the earth, in the, in, 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 in the depth of hell, in the fiery furnace of heads, when the name of Jesus is mentioned, even demons bow down, principalities bow down. They bow down. Why? Because the carrier of this name, that is Jesus Christ, the moment he was exalted by God, who is the one who exalts, when he humbled himself, he was exalted. And it is through his name that everything that exists, not only in the universe, even beyond the universe, everything that exists or operates or orchestrates has to be rooted in that name. And therefore, that's the same, same benefit that we enjoy. That the moment you commit yourself to the followership of Christ, the moment you commit yourself to carrying the name of Jesus in your life, you become also a carrier of the name that is above every other name. Meaning that in the same, same juncture, as you command things in the name of Jesus, what happens? Those things bow down to you. They bow down to you. They cannot bow down to you in the absence of the name of Jesus because they bow down to the Jesus that is in you. Therefore, by default, these things bow down to you. Principalities bow down to you. Demons bow down to you. Things start moving because you carry the name of Jesus with you. And it is humility that will allow us to be submitted to the authority of Christ. It is humility that will allow us to fully surrender our lives, not 20% of our lives, not 80% of our lives, not 95% of our lives, not 99.9% .9 of our lives, but 100% of our lives to Christ because it is only a man who is under authority of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that is able to administer the authority of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that is humility for you. Humility helps you to understand that if I'm not submitted to Christ, then I cannot operate in Christ. If I'm not submitted fully to the authority of Christ, then I cannot operate in the authority of Christ because the mathematics of our relationship with Jesus is this, that I have to be submitted to his authority to operate in his authority. And that's my prayer for you, that you will learn to walk in humility. You will learn the art of surrendering to Jesus and giving him your all so that when you get to a place where you need things to move, you will be able to move things without any hindrance. But most importantly, we don't relate with the name of Jesus for our own benefit, but also for intimacy purposes, for the purposes of intimacy, so that we can be able to enjoy our relationship with Christ. That is my prayer for you, that you will walk in humility. You will walk in the knowledge of Christ. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. When you know the Holy One, you fear Him, you respect Him. And when you respect Him, you humble yourself before Him. And from that time, the moment you submit yourself, wisdom comes in and God is able to sort you out. God bless you so much. Have a blessed, blessed weekend and see you in the side of victory. God bless you.